about you, but I'm always looking for a cheap, easy, effective way to sync audio and video. I just made a new discovery. Reaper has added video capability. So let's shoot a little video and see what's involved in syncing audio from a recorder with video from an inexpensive video camera using Reaper. We're set up with a Flip uh, Ultra HD for our video camera. See that baby right there? And uh, a Rode NT4 for our audio. First we'll fire up the Flip and start recording. Light off our Reaper project then move across the facility to the uh, sound stage. The number one trick for syncing audio and video is the clap. It seems simple, it seems obvious, but if you point your hands right at the camera so that the instant of impact is clearly visible and then give yourself a little like that, when you get ready to sync the audio and video you'll see little spikes in the audio waveform on the on both tracks and it's so easy to line those spikes up and then by having the ha hands pointed right at the camera if there's any question you can tell exactly when the contact occurs so now uh, we're ready to record some video and audio in parallel there's our video file from the flip uh, an mp4 file created by the flip ultra HD so over here is Reaper with our audio file in it. Go over to the video file, click on it, drag and drop. Whoa, is that easy? Now we have video in Reaper. Let's try playing a little bit of this. Okay. I know the sophistication of all this is e and open Much up the video and uh, you know, when you run with the big dogs. Keep it down. Down. So but we're here in the audio on the audio <laughs> track will mute that. Okay. Kathy Wingard model E. So there's the uh, Much better than I deserve. There's the video playing in the preview window. Uh, I mentioned the spikes that we could see in the waveforms where we clapped and there they are. So if we put the cursor right about there and sort of quickly drag this guy over and then we zoom in using the wonderful Reaper mouse wheel functionality Put move the cursor again it makes it easier to line up things I'm not using snap but you certainly can and uh, there we go looks pretty good to me let's play it and see what it sounds like like that when you like that. See? Yeah, they're in sync. Now what would happen if they're off just a little bit? Like, hey, you hear the echo, right? Like, yeah, so when you get them lined up pretty good, it's one clap instead of two. Like, and that's when you know the rest of the audio will be good too. So now all we do is trim using normal Reaper functionality to get the clip that we want. So we just select both clips with a little right click drag. Kaloke o Maui. Alright, that's where we're going to cut. So with both clips selected, we just hit S. We've trimmed off the front. So right click drag over these two. Hit delete. Right click drag to select both of these and move them over to the beginning. Now, Kaloke o Maui. Now, what happens? Why are we hearing here for audio? Let's turn the. Uh, the road all the way down. Kaloke o Maui. Alright, that's what the flip sounds like. Now let's turn the flip all the way down. Kaloke o Maui. The I like that Maui. better. <laughs> a lot less noise and a lot uh, more bottom. So we'll leave the flip camera volume all the way down. Leave the road volume up. And we'll trim the back of this. Let's see how this goes. So. We don't need. That looks good. Oh, remember to move the cursor there. Okay, and there. So, yeah, and so now we'll slice again with the S key and delete the tails, and now we have our trimmed up video clip. 
Kaloke o Maui, the Rose of Maui. Okay, so what we want to do now is render this out to a new video file. We just go File, Render, and there's a shortcut Control Alt R. So now in the render, render window, we're ready to crank out our new video clip, and the trick there is to change the output format. Change wave, which would be in the normal audio format, to video FFmpeg encode. FFmpeg is a marvelous library of video tools that the Reaper guys have hooked up. So, different formats. Once you change to the FFmpeg output, the options change to match the needs of video. Let's use, they call it format, I call it container. Oh, good old QuickTime Movie dot move MP4. That's a modern H.264 codec and AAC audio. Now, I'm going to go for a 720, uh, actually a 12. 80 by 720, what we call 720p video, at 30 frames per second, and a bit rate of about 6 megabits, 6,000 kbits. Um, we'll leave the audio at 128 in the AAC codec, and uh, that should do it. So we hit render. Let's see how it came out. Kaloke o Maui, the Rose of Maui. So, <laughs> complete with glitches, there's uh, One more time. There's our video converted from a flip Minno MP4 to a dot .move file with the audio replaced within Reaper. Hope you found that useful. Please visit us at www.homebrewedmusic.com